Hey guys, Super Smart here. Um, I just wanted to um have a case review. I'm gonna try and make it fairly quick of the um Griffin Eye Clear for the iPod Touch second generation. Um, this case is pretty cool. I didn't have an unboxing or anything of it. Sorry about that, guys. But um, yeah, this is a really neat case, though. Regardless, um, I probably should have had one. But um. Yeah, this is one of the more popular cases by Griffin because it's inexpensive and um, it's a really good hard shell case. Now, um, what you do is you just stick your iPod in the bottom half of the shell and your iPod comes to the back there. And then you take this top piece, which is, this top piece is a little bit flimsy though, so you gotta be careful with it. It feels like it's gonna break. Um, and you clip around the edges here. You push down. Make sure it's all pushed into place. Um, and yeah, it's on. So um, once it's on, you have a really tight lock your iPod in. Um, it doesn't protect your screen entirely per se, but it does like bulge out a little bit. So if it was dropped face down, you probably would get some screen protection there. Your screen wouldn't be left out in the open. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, it's a really nice protective case. It blurs the back slightly, so if you have a scratched iPod like mine, um, you can you can't really see that. <laughs> so yeah, the case has a good feeling. It's very thin. It doesn't add much bulk for a hard shell case. Not bu much bulk at all. Very little bulk for a hard shell case. Um, then um, yeah, it has nice cutouts for the rockers on the side over here, and nothing's covering them. So you have plenty of room for those. That's nice. Same with your sleep wake button. Nothing's covering it. You have nice, plenty of space for that. Um, nothing too important to really cover it up. You still have your headphone jack and your 30-pin um, dock connector, whatever that is, um, to sync and all. Everything still works. Um, and yeah, and this over here isn't bulging out either. So um, your dock connector... Um, bigger dock connectors will work in it. I like that because I have a dock connector that's pretty big and this actually fits in it. So I was kind of surprised to see that. It has two clips on the edges which are supposed to be for an armband but I don't use this armband for um, just for the fact that it's too hard to put on and take off and I really don't have the patience and time to take on and off that clip so much. It's just so difficult to do. I think it was like meant to stay on. Um, this does not cover your edges so you get a nice thing here of when you turn pages and stuff so yeah um it's cool like that yeah um so it, it doesn't it doesn't interfere with any of your space as you can see um it does not cover the top area so it leaves room for your sensor as well in the end it's a really nice case for the ipod touch um it really opens everything up and gives you a nice protection on the back of your iPod. Maybe not perfect protection on the front, but definitely a little bit of drop protection because either way, it's protecting your iPod a little bit there. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Write, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have a link where you can get this in the description. So go check it out. Thanks.